So this is the MR2 project. Um, well, I guess it's not really that much of a project anymore, but here it is. Um, I'm gonna start doing like a build series on this thing, and uh, I don't know, try and make YouTube videos and make it cool and show people some really cool things because people are actually having issues like with a lot of things with MR2s and. I think MR2 is the coolest cars ever, so let's keep them alive. Um, this is, I guess, just like a quick overview of my car, and um, uh, I don't know, I guess in the comments we can answer some questions, and I don't know, maybe uh, you guys can answer some questions for me, and we can kind of help each other, because, I don't know, like I said, you see a lot of videos for like 240s and like Subarus and like all this stuff, but there's nothing really for MRTs. So, so the goal of this video series really is to, uh, like I said, help people with MRTs, but at the same time, also uh, kind of showcase what I'm doing with my MR2. Uh, this car is actually going to be competing in a couple of Time Attack events this year, and hopefully a lot more next year in 2018. Uh, budget allows so you'll see this car most likely at grid life well almost 100 percent at grid life road atlanta so if you're in that area definitely hit me up um but you'll also see this car hopefully at a lot of local events here in near maryland so like i guess jersey and virginia but also um a lot of events hopefully down south like i want to get to global time attack road atlanta but i don't know how this going We'll see. I don't actually have a truck, and this car is actually going into be garaged like today. So um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what can happen, and I'll let you guys know. But basically, uh, this car is a pretty simple car, and that's kind of how I wanted it to be. Um, there's a couple of key things, I guess, I can highlight. I don't really. I don't know. I guess this is going to be like a car check, but. Uh, it's a 91 NA chassis with a Gen 2 stuffed in it um, with a CT27 side mount intercooler, like all that jazz, all the bolt on stuff. Um, we're running 93 octane gas out here, so um, I don't know. I guess on 17 pounds it makes 300 horsepower. If it makes close to that, that's fine. Um, the car weighed 2,700 pounds when I got it weighed, and regretfully, that this car was daily driven at that time so there was tons of stuff in it um, so there's pretty much nothing in it no rear interior um, I'm contemplating taking a lot of the carpet and all that stuff out but it doesn't really weigh that much so I don't know um, uh, we just we did a slight wire tuck on this thing just to make it a little bit easier to work on um, but yeah I mean there's really I don't know. This car is very untreatable at this point. Um, it's it's running the S54 transmission, uh, which is the NA transmission, and running at th running that just because it's shorter gears. Um, so hopefully that helps on track. We'll see. Um, I do have an E153 that I can throw in it if um, if need be, but it's running really good. Um, it is an open diff car. It's probably going to stay an open diff car. Um, I haven't really run into a situation where an LSD would help me on track. Um, so. We'll see. Um, up front, we're running a Willwood um, brake kit. And this one's kind of interesting because it's a TCS kit. Um, we're going to be switching up to the Wilhelm kit, which runs a smaller rotor, same caliper. Um, this is a super rotor, and as you can see, like with this kit, the uh, caliper doesn't really touch the whole rotor. And I think that's kind of weird, so uh, we're going to sort that out. On the rears, we're in the stock 91s, uh, 91 turbo brakes, which, I don't know, it's been okay, but I'd like to maybe do something different. Uh, we'll probably run an adjustment proportioning valve in general and see how it is before I make that decision. Uh, on the rear, we're running 265 3518s, and the fronts are uh, 225s. These are Federal 595 RSRs. Um, might be running the RSRR if I can get my hands on some for cheap, so uh, 
Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we have a, I'm gonna be making a splitter for this thing, making some canards for this thing. Uh, so I'll show people how to make those. Um, the canards will probably be out of ABS plastic. Uh, I'm working on that right now, and I'll make a video on that. Um, and the splitter will probably be, I don't know, maybe a Lumilite, or maybe I might find a carbon fiber splitter for another car and make it work. Like I said, this is a real basic build. Um, it was built as a daily driver originally, and it's gonna transition its way to a track car. So I'm hoping you guys enjoy seeing that. And I wanna make more videos to uh, showcase that, because videos are fun and YouTube is fun. And I've been wanting to get into it for a while, and I've been procrastinating and procrastinating. So now we're gonna finally do it. Um, also, if anyone that has an MR2 has these inspection covers, the left side, I need one desperately. Don't ask, mine is not here, but I need one. So if you have one, hit me up. I'd love to buy it from you. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, this car is on BC coilovers right now. Um, we've got uh, some adjustable uh, like tension rods, nothing super crazy. Uh, if I see the need to go like adjustable co like control arms and stuff, I will. Uh, but we are going to be swapping the BCs out for some stance racing coilovers uh, here very soon. Um, so uh, we're going to do a custom spring rate and things like that uh, with the stance coilovers. And hopefully, I think they're going to be a lot better fit for my needs. BCs are great, um, especially for like street driving. But um, I want something a little bit more aggressive. So. I'll do like an unboxing video of those um, when they finally come in. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, I guess that concludes this video of, I don't know, just like a basic car check of, of my car. Um, there's Like I said, there's going to be tons of videos that I make um, highlighting things that I do with this car um, and just kind of taking people on the journey of me doing that. So, if you're interested in that, like, this video subscribe to my channel I've got tons of videos like I said coming I want to do reviews of cars so I've got some reviews lined up I'm gonna to be touring some really cool shops um, here in the future that I personally adore going to and they do some really cool stuff so look out for that um, and yeah just uh, subscribe to my channel and I hope to bring you guys some really cool content